you. Welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Bailey Wilborn filling in for Zach. The Saints are preparing for Drew Brees' eventual return to the field, and it could happen as early as this weekend. Saints quarterback Drew Brees is back to practicing with his team. Brees has been doing some light practice drills as New Orleans gets ready to host the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. The future Hall of Famer has been sidelined since injuring his right thumb in Week 2, still wearing a protective brace around it on his throwing hand. The Saints have been 5-0 in his his absence with Teddy Bridgewater, and despite a looming bye week and a comfortable division lead, Breeze thinks he's ready to return. He says he doesn't have any pain with the thumb, and he's adjusting to playing with a brace on his hand. Uh, taking a snap was actually easier than expected, or um, I was able to do that uh, easily before I could, you know, feel really comfortable throwing. You know, obviously having something on your thumb that's taped onto your thumb is, uh, you know, at first it's not the most comfortable thing or normal feeling thing, but um, just have to make it to normal, right? The Pelicans are preparing to face the Dallas Mavericks in the second game of the season. This will be the Pels' home season opener. New Orleans lost a tough one in overtime to the Raptors on opening night and look to bounce back against Dallas. If they want to win, Coach Gentry says the two major things they need to work on is closing out games and not getting into foul trouble. The you know, we, we uh, put them on the foul line way too much. You know, they I think they shot 38 foul shots, we shot 20. So, uh, you know, we got to stop fouling so much. We got to be able to play defense without fouling. Tiger Woods is back in a very familiar position. He's at the top of a PGA leaderboard. Woods had a disastrous start at the Zozo Championship in Japan with bogeys on his first three holes, but that's when he caught fire. Woods would birdie nine of the next 15 holes, including a 30-foot bender on the par 3 seventh to end the round with the 64. That was good enough to vault him into a share of the lead with Gary Woodland at six under on the day. All eyes will stay on Tiger to see if he can keep that momentum going into round two. The Washington Nationals making a statement in Houston. The Nationals now have a 2-0 lead in the World Series after dominating the Houston Astros 12-3. This game was tied at two going into the seventh inning, but that's when the bats started waking up for the Nats. They scored six runs in just that one inning and then another three in the eighth. Today is a travel day for both teams, and they will look to pick it up tomorrow in D.C. The Astros will hope to get at least one win on the road to get back into this series. Anibal Sanchez will start for the Nationals, and Zach Grinke for the Strohs. For us to uh, obviously steal two games from them at their home field is, uh, is great, but like you said, we still have a, a job to finish, and we have two more to go. Clearly, game three. Uh, becomes critical for us. We're going we're gonna to get on a plane. We're going to go to Washington. I doubt um, the Nats are going to feel, you know, too confident that they have this sewed up and they can start, you know, planning a parade. We're going to give them a fight for it.